Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat, and I am back for the hashtag 50 stack challenge. And yes, I'm moving you out a little bit. <laughs> it was a little close. Um, so if you're not familiar with the 50 stack challenge, it is a 25 week prompt assignment challenge. Each week I draw two prompts out of my bag and um, then make a piece of ephemera or something using um, each of the prompts. So last week we had your favorite holiday character was number 41. And so I chose Santa and I started this all in one Santa journal um, that's a digital in my Etsy shop. And then number 42, it was children. And so same thing, I made tags and things using the children that are in that uh, same digital download. So. But you, if you wanted to, you could do a collage, you could do um, a yeah, painting, whatever it is, whatever craft you like. You don't have to make journal ephemera. That's just how it started. And then the idea is when you're done, you have a stack of 50 pieces of ephemera, unless you use them like I have been for Christmas. Um, this one was meant to be kind of a Christmas 50 stack challenge, but it doesn't have to be. I've made things that aren't Christmas. Um, the prompts are generic enough that I feel like you could use them for, you know, any holiday or just every day, that type of thing. So we are on number 43. So I'm going to draw a comp for 43. 43 is favorite childhood toy. So whatever toy you liked most when you were um, a child, and it doesn't have to be like, um, like say you liked Barbie or whatever, you could do any type of doll. If you can find an image of any type of doll, that's however you want to do it. You do it the way you want to do it. You could even use the word Barbie. That's, I don't, like I said, I am not the 50 side challenge place. It's meant to be fun and just have a good time and make yourself some ephemera. All right, number 44 is favorite holiday food. And if you're not doing a specific holiday, you could do just any, I mean, childhood toy, that could be from any time of the year. And a uh, favorite holiday food, you could just have it as your favorite food if you don't um, wanna do the, the holiday part of it. Okay, so 43, favorite childhood toy, 44, favorite ho holiday food, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and so, for favorite childhood toy, I have Strawberry Shortcake on her little bike with her kitty cat in the basket. I had that actual toy. <laughs> so I thought that was fun. And then favorite holiday food, I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> so those are my favorites. All right. Um, I want to say hugs and blessings to user-ud8ou. 9ES9I. You know who you are. <laughs> uh, Tia and Beverly. Thank you guys. You're so awesome and beautiful, lovely comments always. I do so appreciate it. I cannot even tell you. Um, I want to say super thanks to Mr. and Mrs. Helm. You guys spoil me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Betty Ann and Sandy K. Thank you guys so, so much for your little, your little um, monetary tip. I really appreciate it. Okay, so we're going to make some journaling cards. And at the end of this uh, video, I'm going to show you some new digitals that I have. But I thought I would just do these first. And then we'll do that. So that way, if people want to, they, um, you know, can do something else if they don't want to see that part. So I just have some pink polka dot paper. I'm going to be covering the back. Because like I said, we're going to do kind of like, maybe this one might be a tag. The other one might be a journaling card. And then I have some eyelet. And this is because I had a friend going growing up who I um, played with strawberry shortcake dolls with. Well, we all kind of did, all my friends and I. But anyway, her mom made me a cute strawberry shortcake blanket. Both of us, her daughter and myself, made us a blanket one year. And she put eyelet trim on it, so they will be forever associated with each other. I think that's pretty um, common. At that time, eyelet was huge. So just like the Holly Hobby, I feel like this goes very well with Strawberry Shortcake. It's, they're very similar doll styles. So, yes. 
So we're going to put that on there. I am going to ink it a little because I can't help myself. So how y'all doing? I hope you had a fantastic Thanksgiving. I did. It was so awesome to hang out with my kids. Oh my goodness. It was just couldn't have been better. Although I did feel so awful for my son because he ended up having strep throat. We had no idea. Couldn't figure out what was wrong with him. As I told you, he was having stomach issues. And apparently it was caused by the gunk from the sore throat. <laughs> Oh, the things you learn, right? I just assumed he had a stomach bug, but it was not a stomach bug. It was the strep rat. And so now his sister has strep throat. So I'm sure I'll probably get it coming up. So if there's days when I'm not here, that would be why. But um, I'm just glad we got it figured out before he had to go back to school because he was a mess. He just kept telling me his throat was a little sore, like not that bad. He didn't feel like it was that bad. Um... So I just assumed, you know, maybe he had kind of a cold or something, but then he got stomach flu. I don't know. I really didn't know what in the world was going on with him. Uh, but got that all taken care of. So he is definitely feeling better. Hallelujah. And he got to eat at least a little for <laughs> Thanksgiving. <laughs> it took, it was the whole entire week that he was here. He was sick. But I'm glad he was here because... I don't know if he would have yet got it taken care of very well at home he, or, you know, up at school because, you know, they're just not always so good about doing that stuff. So anyhow, but it's all situated and good, except like I said, my daughter has it, but her friend just had it uh, a couple weeks ago. So I'm not that surprised that she did get it. So anyhow, but at least she got through her last uh, football game playing in the band. She's all done because she's a senior, so she won't be doing that anymore. So that was a lovely night, and we got to go. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw uh, photos of that. My sister went, and that was awesome. We had lovely Thanksgiving with my husband's parents. So yeah, just all around a fantastic weekend. And now everybody is back to school and work. <laughs> As we do. But it was lovely. So yeah, that's why she just kept getting sick and I couldn't figure it out. And I was really starting to get worried. Um, I just did not put my finger on the whole stomach, or the whole, uh, strep throat thing, because when I have strep throat, oh my word, I know I have strep throat, but I've had it lots and lots of times. He has not, so that could be a difference there, right? I'm just looking for maybe another something to put on there. I'm wondering if this might be cute. That little sort of... I don't know, check pattern in green. And it's just some washi from a washi sticker book. I don't know what I'll use this in, but I found these images on Etsy, and I'll put a link in the description box below, so if you're interested in a strawberry shortcake, I mean, I suppose you could do a whole journal, right, of any of these things. The mashed potatoes, will, this this will be a little easier to use than mashed potatoes, but <laughs> sometimes when you're making these prompts, you're not thinking a whole ton about like, you know, maybe what journal it would be used in, or at least I didn't with this. I just was thinking of holiday type things <laughs> and not being so obvious or, you know, that people had to do it for um, Christmas or whatever. So yeah, it is what it is, right? I have this piece of paper I'm looking at to see if there's anything. This is more of what I was going to use for the, uh, the other one. I, I had another. Oh, this. This is what I had. This little pink. I don't know if that goes. Probably should have done that instead of the green, huh? Hold on just a second. Okay, I am back. Sorry, I need to scoot out just a little. 
Um, so we're going to put her there. And then I have this from Jolene at um, a jewel design. I don't know sometimes my brain can't remember that but anyway it's just one of her little uh um dictionary definitions of happiness so I think that would be super cute right here and then I also have a piece, another piece of washi but let's get that down and then I have some hearts I'm gonna put it just needed a few more little doodads so that's what I have here thought I had everything but you know I get started and then I think of other things or it needs something else or I don't know. You guys know how it is. So I'm going to use this stripey washi tape on there as well. Red and white stripes. It's very cute. I'm just going to make it look like this is maybe taped on here a little. I think you can read that. I think you can still read it fine. I don't really have any things to go with strawberry shortcake. <laughs> I have enough strawberries. Thought I would have more more things, but my glue doesn't want to work. Hasn't been used in a few days. We haven't even been around in a few days. We did hang out at home yesterday because uh Aiden was sick and all that. She came over and just wanted to sit on the couch and watch movies with us. <laughs> so that's what we did. Watched um, pretty much all the Hunger Game movies, except the new one, because it's not out yet. So that was fun. And put her on with Girl's Cat. Custard, I believe, if I remember correctly. It's been a while. But these were one of my favorites for years. I collected them. And then my daughter played with them, and also I got her some of the, they had, came out with, you know, a modern version. And now I think they're on to another version, or recently anyway, recent years. All right, so there we are with our favorite childhood toy. So it's not Christmassy, but that's okay. This one we're going to make on more Christmas papers, colors. Um, I think I'm going to, do I want this to be, I think I want this one to be a tack. So we'll do this. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to cover the back first. It's always the back. Always the back. Just when I think I'm done. We'll use some of this avocado dyed paper. That'll be cute. And it's a little bit crunched and munched on the corner, so it's a good piece for cutting down. Ah, oh, too much glue on here. Yeah, it was kind of a bummer. My son couldn't go with us on Aiden's last football game, but he had to work. And he was finally feeling better. <laughs> Now you can write on the back of that one and I'll probably end up stitching around it. Let's do this first. And putting some kind of fabric or something at the top. So 
That's a nice big tag. Those are nice to have sometimes. Some of the pockets. Okay, there's that one. And then on to our food. I think I might orient this one this way. I might cut a little more off of that. It was just a scrap that was hanging around, so I think I want about four. Okay. Let's do five and a half. I know there's all the foods that you could have, and I like mashed potatoes and gravy. <laughs> I'm not a huge turkey fan. I mean, I eat, I like it, I'll eat it. I love turkey sandwiches, but. I'm good with like one piece, <laughs> one slice. Ah. I think like everything else with the holidays, uh, I find the food a little overwhelming. Like there's just so many things that might be part of my issue. I really want to put this down here. Almost looks like a tablecloth, right? <laughs> Silly. Yeah, I have no idea what I'll ever do with this, but <laughs> it's fun nonetheless. It could go in a type cookbook journal or something like that. I mean, it would be cute in a Christmas one, too. Sorry, I know. It's like watching paint dry. Try to do it fast. And I'm going to use something out of here too. Just pages out of an old magazine. I just like how there's like I like this turkey over here. Ripe olive turkey stuffing. I don't think so. I have to pass on that one. How much of this do I want? This hair. I just think it'd be fun to have a little something else. Just to, you know, the whole food thing. To go with it. Christmas eating. I think that's funny. I like black olives just by themselves, but I don't like them warm. I know I am the weirdest. I <laughs> the only person I know I like that. Everybody else I'm around loves them. Hmm. I don't know if I like both of those. It does feel like it needs more. I also have this, I have a 
sweet corn or sugar corn sticker I thought might be cute. So I think I'll put that on there instead of having all this stuff on there. All right, so let's get some glue down. I'll just kind of eyeball where I want this. Get that green line. Yeah, you can find all kinds of cool images um, in old magazines, obviously. I couldn't find mashed potatoes, but then I found this digital that had artwork of different foods. So I just figured eventually I'll probably use it for something. It had all the ham and turkey and all those kind of things, too. Eh. Okay, so that'll go there. Just kind of like... I might just put it up to the top and trim off that white. It's not my favorite bit anyway. Corn stuck on there even though, or the potatoes, even though they're not stuck. Now, yes, these parts are not all my favorites, but the mashed potatoes are. a little bit. It's pretty patina as it is, but all right, and then we're going to round our corners. This one doesn't have to be backed because it's already nice and clean for writing. Could back it though if you want it um, darker. This reminds me of Betty Crocker cookbook. <laughs> Not necessarily the polka dots, but just the color of it and everything. Because <laughs> those are checks, not dots. But that was kind of cool how that worked out. All right, so we have I can find my little slip here. Oh, I don't know. There it is. So, first one, favorite childhood toy is a strawberry shortcake. And then, favorite holiday food is mashed potatoes. Alright, now I will show you our new digitals. Because guys liked the one that I did last, not last week, the week before for the color challenge, the sky blue and was it cream? I think so, cream and sky blue or whatever it was, but this tag shape like this. So the idea with the digital is this flap here, because obviously um, when you fold it closed, there's not going to be anything on the other side of this tag. So you score it, fold it, put one of these, and there's there's multiples, so you don't have to choose the one that's on the same page as it. You choose the one you like. You would put this piece on the, when you fold this over, you put that piece there, this one, on top, so that, you know, it's not a plain front. So they almost become like little books. And then 
you would take one of these more plain sort of ones and put it behind here. You'll Obviously, all this will have to get cut out and everything. Um, and another thing is you can't uh, change the size of the digital unless you're going to change all the pages or at least the pages with the tags. Because like this one, I noticed I, have to, I could not get it to fit right on the page when I made the digital. It looks cut off, but it's not because you're getting the whole rounded corner right there. It's just the straight edge. But if you shrink this so that you have a border, you're going to have to shrink these and have a border because otherwise they'll be, this will be a different size from this. They're all the same size right now. So um, that's how that is going to work. So we have these pages. There's a total of 16 pages in this digital. So there's all kinds of goodies and you could, you know, end up making a whole journal um, with these tags. I thought it might be super fun. What I'm probably going to do is make up the tags and then hinge them together like a tag book. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. You could use this um, for hinges or you could use it in another journal. I just was trying to, um, you know, fill up space so that you have things you can use without these just being blank because obviously with just the tags, this would be blank down here. So that's what these are. Or you can cut these out individually or whatever. And then there's this one with all the little roses that you can use for whatever. Bigger ones of these snowflakes. So there's all different ones and you can mix and match them however you want. I just put certain things next to each other. That doesn't mean they have to be used together. You use them how you want to use them. And then there's also some words, snow, cold, snowflake, frigid, that you can use with them. And these little round deals and um, some extra snowmen. Um, these ones, these bands can be used as belly bands, like on the inside of this, ta this book when you fold it closed. And then when you open it, you can put one of the belly bands there and tuck goodies into it. Or put it at the bottom and have it as a little tuck pocket. So, and that could also be done with the, this. You could cut this into smaller pieces and have it as a pocket that goes across right there. I just did it the full length, but you can cut it all up however you want it. This would be a good pocket, a little deeper belly band, a journaling card, or just a decorative piece. Those are the more plain ones. Belly band, this can just be used if you just cut it around it and keep it all in one piece, it could be used as a belly band. Fussy cuts. So there's this could be a pocket tag, journaling card. This is just decorative, and then words, snowmen, and tags and pockets and journaling cards. However you want to use them, it's up to you. And then just decorative goodies for any winter journal and then these are uh, background pages that I added also in case you wanted to you know cut some more of your own tags or um, if you want to do a whole like wintry journal you could do it there's I think four or five of these five five yeah so there's that one snowflakes and these are just full eight and a half by eleven so they could make a normal size journal if that's what you want to do that one and then there's uh just the kind of burlap sort of looking fabric blue and brown oh there's there's six of the background pages i couldn't remember and this one okay so that's one kit 16 pages and that one's called snowman tags so easy to find. And then this next one is Beautiful Blue Backgrounds. It has 12 pages. And it's a lot like uh, the Pretty Pink um, Lace, I think is what that one's called. Pretty Pink Lace has 12. This Beautiful Blue Backgrounds has 12. So these are a little more uh, embroidery looking, but definitely dimensional. So if you like to make blue journals, blue tags, blue whatever, and kind of a silvery, they're, they're pretty, and tan, cream, it's a pretty combo. And this one has a little bit of like lace, but it all looks like 
fabric and embroidery and it's just very cool. Oops, that one I think is upside down. Oh, that one too. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you could do it this way. Yeah, probably. I don't know. How, or whatever direction. Probably going to tear them up and use them for collage and stuff too. So this one's really cool. It just looks like fabric and roses. And yeah, I like that a lot. Definitely shabby chic blue. You know, like a lot of times they're pink, but blue. So that is those. All right. And then we're going to do a quick flip through of our uh, Sweet Christmas Wishes journal because it is complete. I know you guys are being blinded by the light. I don't know if this will help, but I think I might be able to cover up at least most of those lights. Okay, so this journal is spoken for, but I wanted to show it to you guys because you hung out with me while I made the whole thing, so I wanted you to see it complete. So it has this uh, vintage eyelet lace um, cover on it that comes off. It's just tied on with some seam binding lace that has been stitched to it, so that part comes off. And then on the cover you have this quilted Christmas and threads <laughs> and then the little metal corners the Tim Holtz metal corners there Let's set this over there for now and it's a one signature journal eight and a half by eleven uh, pages you know full size folded in half and then we have our fabric this is just a cream colored fabric in here a little piece of rickrack a fabric pocket with the hearts and the holly love that and then this is one that I watercolored, and then one of the um, tags from the kit, and I just added, you know, red polka dot paper and Christmas. This is from Jolene, added Jewel Design, and added a piece of the same fabric up there. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how many pages. <laughs> I usually do right around 12, 15, it's just depending on, this one's uh, kind of cardstock, and then I printed the digital on the back and this one we made together I did finally get some fabric at the top of those the little tags and the tags are in the kit and these um, snowflakes are in my Etsy shop and then when it cut it goes over the top of the page here and then here's another pocket with a journaling card cute little girl and then just some, you know, words and um, that tool sort of snow trim in the kit. This is from a Holly Hobby Christmas book that I have. And then kit page, coffee dyed, one of the little houses, one of my little die cut or laser cut houses. Um, flash card that's been decorated up using the kit and... This sticker is from a sticker book I have. Kit pages, some dyed paper. This isn't um, avocado dye, this is food coloring, I believe, from my niece. And kit page, this is um, ledger, vintage ledger. And there's just a little pocket here that's double with the hot cocoa and a cute little girl there. Writing spot and another cute little girl writing spot. Journaling card. Um, doily and kit pages. These ones are from Taylor Made Journals. Her lace, lacy doily background. This we made together. I don't remember what we made that for, but it's just a fun little decoration. It's just sewing pattern paper, um, pleated, uh, and just goodies added to it. This is out of the Holly Hobby Christmas book I have. You can still write here, right here. This is a vintage Christmas card. And inside is a little journaling card. The cute little girls. And I added one here because obviously this vintage card did not have a, that little Holly Hobby character. <laughs> and then it flips open. You could write here and write on the rest of the page. Some sweet drinks. 
And then this is um, another page from the Holly Hobby book that's Kit Page. And we made this one together last time. This paper clips on. And there's a writing spot. Two long tags that come out and you can write on those as well. And they're just on this. There's Christmas carols on there. So that's very cute. And I like that that comes off so that you can read the, the page. More of Taylor May Journal's paper, these kit pages, and our Santa. That was also in the Holly Hobby book I have. And then I found these at the um, antique store I went to. Those are vintage little hobby, Holly Hobby gift cards. So I just popped one of those in there. And then our little uh, journaling card and this little snowman uh, paper clip has a little writing spot that comes out of the bottom of the tag. I made those last year at Christmas time. I just thought that one was kind of cute. That's also one of my digitals, the Snow Fun, I think it is. Oh my goodness me. Kit page, Holly Hobby book. One of the, um, CD envelope covers from the kit, a couple of the little houses just backed and stitched around with some lace that pop in there. And it's just paper clipped on so it can be moved wherever in the journal. And then our little sugar cookie recipe with um, some collage there. And then these are just pieces that we made over the time making it. And that's the other part of the vintage Christmas card that I just showed you guys. Um, I just glued it around the edges and turned it into a tag with a pocket here, as you just saw, with a journaling card and then the little girl there. So that whole card basically is in, in this journal. And this is just the end piece of that page I showed you with the carolers from the book. That's just the leftover, so it's kind of a nice little writing card. This page. <laughs> and then this piece was gifted to me, these pockets. Super fun. I just decorated them up using the kit um, fussy cuts and that. There's a little tag in there. This is a piece of really thin kind of tissue-y type paper dyed. A little thicker, more like a vellum maybe, or transparent sea paper or something. And then these pop out, there's one in each pocket, these little writing spots. So that is very cute. Perfect, right there. And doily, Taylor Made Journals paper. I don't remember where I got this one, but it, it's so cute. Sticker there. This is a little, um, cookie. I added that little Santa tag there just for decoration. Pages from the kit. This is one of my um, snowmen uh, that I have in the shop, the laser cut ones, and I just uh, did watercolor in the background there. And then it's got a blue paper clip with just some vintage blue fabric up at the top. And here's another pocket made out of the kit paper. And these are in my Etsy shop. And there's just a little tag there, writing spot, writing spot. Another little cute tag tucked in there, glittered up. It just tucks in that pocket. Oops. And bent branches. Kit page. So cute. And that is that. And then at the back I have another one of the little tree cards with little houses. And these come out so you can write on the back of them. And that I just put a sponge, sponged some white paint on. And then this is um, from last year. That's one of the stencils that I have in the shop. And I just did a little water coloring on it. Nice little uh, journaling card there. And that is it. 
So, I hope you guys enjoyed making this with me. I really enjoyed it. It was definitely like a walk down memory lane. So, um, thank you for joining me and thank you for hanging out with me today, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Love you guys. All right. We will talk again tomorrow. Bye-bye now.